This is a demonstration of a counter function, specifically a count up function. And counter memory locations are fixed to slot C5. Notice this says C5 colon 1, and unlike some of the other functions we've looked at, there is no slash and then a bit location. That's because this is associated with an entire word, 16 bits put together. C5 colon 1. When we look at our data table, C5 colon 1, and here are the bits that are fixed to that location. We have a count up bit. That is this bit right here, and it's also indicated right here. This bit goes true, or on, or 1, when this counter goes true. The done bit goes true when the accumulation value equals the preset value. So every time this counter goes from false to true, it increments by 1. And that will be stored in the accumulation value. When these two values are equal, the done bit says, I'm done counting, and changes state. In this case, this goes true. We have an overflow bit. We'll get into that later. And here's our preset, our preset of 5, and our accumulation bit, which is currently at 0. So I'll cycle switch 0 one time. And you can see that now my accumulation equals 1. Watch the count up bit located here and here the next cycle. I'll hold the switch in. You can see that our counter is currently true and our count up is enabled or true. Also our yellow light is true because it's in line with the count up bit. When I release that it's false. We'll continue to count up to 4. Now in the next cycle accumulation will equal preset and our done bit says I am done counting. If I keep cycling up you can see that my accumulation value will keep climbing. It's currently at 12. And that will just continue. The only way to reset it is to use a reset function. And here we have a reset function with the same address, C5 colon 1. When switch 1 goes true, it will make the reset go true and reset our accumulation value for this address to 0. We are now reset to 0, ready to restart our count.